Hi everyone, welcome back to our English enrichment lesson for grade two with teacher Rick. So today is our last lesson, our last video for the first semester. So we're going to go back to the song we've learned. Okay, so we started learning the song What a Wonderful World. Okay, and after we learn some things about this wonderful world we live in. So we're going to start today's lesson just by singing one more time our song, What a Wonderful World. I hope you remember the song. Let's see if you do. So I'm going to put the music on and I'm going to ask you to sing together with me. Okay, ready? One, two, three, go. Remember how it starts? I see trees of green. I see trees of green. Red roses too. I watch them bloom for me and for you. And I think to myself, what a wonderful world. I see skies of blue, clouds of white, the bright blessed day and the dark sacred night. And I think to myself, what a wonderful world. The colors of the rainbow, so pretty in the sky, are also on the faces of people going by. I see friends shaking hands, saying, How do you do? They really say, I love you. He made his pride. I watch them grow. They love much more than I'll ever know. And I think to myself, what a wonderful world. Remember? Do you still remember the song? I hope you're singing and dancing if you want to dance. Now get ready, okay? The second part. The colors of the rainbow, so pretty in the sky are also on the faces of people going by. I see friends shaking hands saying, how do you do? They really say, I love you. I hear babies cry, I watch them grow. They learn much more than I'll ever know. And I think to myself, what a wonderful world. Yes, I think to myself, what a wonderful world. Oh, yeah. Okay, good. So, this is our song for the first semester. <clears throat> what a wonderful world. Wonderful. Remember, wonderful. Amazing. Fantastic. Great. Fabulous. Incredible. Super. Mega. Um, so, wonderful world we live in. 
And after we learn some things that we can do to protect this wonderful world, right? So we've seen many habitats where animals live, right? So remember, it's not just us in the world. We have people and we have many animals living in the forest, in the jungles, in the savanna, in Africa, in the desert, in the polar regions, the North Pole, where you have polar bears, South Pole, where you have penguins, the oceans, the sea. So we have this wonderful, very beautiful world, but we need to protect the world. Remember, we've seen there are some problems. We need, there is a lot of pollution. Remember, the pollution, smoke, fumes from the cars, from the factories. You have a lot of trash, garbage, plastic. So we need to protect the world, protect the planet Earth where we live. It's a beautiful, wonderful world, but we need to protect and save the planet. So remember, we've seen some three R words, right? The three R's of the environment that can help us to protect the world. So remember, the first R, reduce. Second R, reuse. The third R, recycle. So if you do these things, we can, you will help to save the planet and protect nature and the environment. So remember, the first R, reduce. So reduce means less, less, less. Okay, so we don't need so many things. So we have to buy less things and reduce consumption. Okay, so less, less. Also, we need to save energy. Remember to save energy. To turn off the lights if you don't need them, turn off the computer, turn off the TV if you're not using, okay? So to save energy, reduce the energy we need, we need to save water too because we need clean water. So we need to save water to have clean water to drink and clean water in rivers and in the lakes and in the sea for the animals that live below water. And we also saw that we need to reduce traffic. You have too many cars and then you have a lot of fumes, pollution, smoke. So we need to reduce traffic, reduce the number of cars. So we can walk, we can uh, ride a bike, we can use the public transports like the bus, the train, okay? So this for the first R, reduce. Uh, and also another thing we need to reduce is the plastic. There's too much plastic, too much pollution, plastic going to the rivers, to the ocean, and it's very bad for animals. So we have to say no to plastic and reduce plastic. No plastic bags, no plastic cups, no plastic bottles, okay? No plastic straws. So we need to reduce plastic and say no to plastic because it's very bad for nature, the environment, and the animals, okay? 
Our second R was reuse. Reuse. Okay, so we need to reuse things. No single use and trash. Single use trash. Single use trash. No. We need to reuse. Use things many times, like reusable bottles that we can refill and use many times or reusable fork and knife and spoon um, so or when we go shopping to the market we, we take our own bags that we reuse reusable bags that we can use many times okay and also we can reuse old things that will go to the trash to make new things like I asked you to do in your project and get some plastic bottles and make a new pencil case for example or reuse old stuff to make new things okay so this is the reuse and then we have the third R recycle to recycle remember so we have a lot of trash different materials we have glass we have plastic we have paper we have electronics we have metal we have uh, organic waste remember the food waste <clears throat> So we have all this trash, so we should recycle and separate the trash with the material. So you have a bin for plastic. You put all the plastic there and then you can make new plastic out of that trash. Okay, so that's good. So we have to recycle. Same thing with glass. We put all the glass together, glass bottles, glass cups or glass jars and then goes to a fact to a kind of a factory and they can make new glass and new bottles new glasses new jars with this glass trash okay so it's very important that we start to recycle so to recycle because you have something old and then you transform it to something new that you can use and make new things and you have these different materials that we can recycle so we have plastic we have glass we have paper and cardboard we have metal we have electronics remember the electronics like phones computers TVs things like that and we also have the organic waste or food waste that we can take and give it put it in soil so that plants have food and they can grow okay so this is the, what we can do with organic waste give it back to the soil and then it's like food for plants to grow so these are the three R's don't forget try to follow the three R's reduce less reuse use many times no single use trash no just reuse some some things you can use many times and then recycle with our trash the trash that we have we have to separate different materials so that we can recycle <clears throat> and finally we talk about energy remember these last weeks we talked about energy so we started with the bad energy sources so remember we have the fossil fuels fossil fuels like oil oil 
coal and natural gas. So this gives us energy. They are energy sources. But these ones, they are not good because you burn them and there is a lot of pollution and also the global warming temperatures going up because we burn we have a lot of heat and the world is getting hotter and hotter and hotter and we cannot have that okay so we have to stop the fossil fuels and find other energy sources so energy sources that are good that are clean and renewable so renewable means that they don't end there's always that source of energy available they are renewable there's always new uh, energy source available so remember we had the three big ones the solar power solar power from the sun the sunlight we have the wind power with the turbines that get energy from the wind they spin and we can generate electricity and energy from the wind and hydro power hydro power like the dams that we can build in the rivers and then the water falls and you can get also energy okay so these are very important renewable energy sources they are clean and there's no end to these energy sources okay solar wind and hydro solar from the sun wind or you can also call it eolic energy wind energy wind power and hydro power hydro from the water solar wind and hydro power and last week we also saw some other renewable energy sources like the uh, energy from the ocean from the waves remember the waves and the tides going up and down okay remember that the ocean has these tides and water goes up and down up and down so you get get energy clean and renewable energy from the ocean the waves and the tides and you also have the geothermal energy geothermal so geothermal because the earth deep down it's very hot so you can get some of that heat to heat the houses or heat the water or also get energy and electricity so the geothermal energy and then we also saw the biomass and biofuel so remember biomass and biofuel is when you use like plants or dead trees or stems from the crops food waste other organic material that you can use to get energy or biofuel so biofuel for example for the cars and the trains and the bus okay so these are the clean and renewable energy sources that we can use to replace the fossil fuels oil coal natural gas that are not good ba, 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 ba. so we have to stop and use more clean and renewable energy sources because they are better for the environment for nature the animals and the whole planet that we want to protect so this is the end of the first semester 
I hope you enjoyed learning our song, What a Wonderful World, and learning about our wonderful world and how we can protect and save the planet Earth. Okay? So, uh, this is the last lesson. No homework. Okay? You have to study for your exams. Good luck for your exams. And then you have the break. You can play and have some fun. And we will be back in November with the second semester with another song and some more things to learn. Okay, so that's all for now. Study hard. Good luck for your exams. And we will see each other again next semester. Bye-bye.